what military alliances are Russia and China part of, and how do they compare to NATO? To first understand the military alliances of Russia and China and its comparison to NATO, you must be able to precisely define what a military alliance is. Osgood defines alliances as a formal agreement that pledges states to cooperate in using their military resources against a specific state or states. Using this definition, you can determine that Russia is currently part of a military alliance, this being CSTO. This stands for the Collective Security Treaty Organisation, which was formed in 1992 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The treaty was originally designed to create security and stability with the ultimate aim of becoming a military alliance equipotent with the power of NATO. However, since its formation, the aims of the organisation have not reached its potential and only remains as a limited defence cooperation. In comparison, China's military, the People's Liberation Army, is one of the most powerful militaries in the world and is currently not part of any military alliances. However, China and Russia are part of the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation, SCO. This organisation was formed in 1996 to resolve border disputes between the members China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. The SCO is not only a military alliance but a political and economic organisation. Consequently, it cannot be defined solely as a military alliance. However, it does provide the relatable connections regarding China and Russia's developing military relationship. Recent military cooperation between China and Russia has seen strong foundations formed for a potential alliance. The term de facto alliance is frequently used by Russian leading foreign policy experts to describe the current unofficial union. However, with this developing relationship, there are rising issues of agreement between Moscow and Beijing on state sovereignty and own national interests. As a result of this information, there are many comparative differences between Russia and China military alliances and that of NATO. NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation, which was formed in 1949 and has 29 members. The principles of NATO are embedded in Article 5, which states an attack against one is an attack against all. The first and currently only time Article 5 has been invoked was on the 11th of September 2001, when the World Trade Center in New York was attacked by a terrorist organization, Al-Qaeda. The longevity of NATO and the foundations of the organization has been described by Doyle as the single best hope for the evolution of a peaceful world. To conclude, when comparing NATO to Russia-China military alliances, the fundamental policies of the alliances have different structures. NATO is a long-lasting alliance with the collective will of all member states, whereas Russia's official military alliance with CSTO has seen a lack of consensus since its formation, since its formation in 1992. However, with the possible military alliance forming between Russia and China, it would become an extremely powerful military alliance on par with NATO.